<laughs> I forgot that today we have a new hero of the month. First of August, we have Ethar or Aitar, a holy hero of the month who has a dagger so the chick can dodge. This activates in 152 plus days. There is dodge special damage. This character has 10% chance to dodge special skills that deal damage. Resist status ailments from minion. This character has innate resistance against status ailments that are from minions. Like the frost <clears throat> from Pengi or the poison from Bera. <coughs> Excuse me. So clearly she can resist. Going into the stats, 904 attack, which is really high for a hero of the month, yes. 780 defense and 1481 health. All three as a combo, excellent. Stupendous break-in at very fast speed. I think many people are gonna like this. Steals all dispellable buffs from the target and randomly distributes them on the allies. <clears throat> So, uh, if the target has a taunt and blah blah and blah blah, all of that is taken and distributed to a random ally. That means different buffs can go to multiple allies also. Then, steals 35% mana from the target and distributes it to the allies. Well, Rohan and Nergiv, she does the same, 50% of the mana and distributes, so yeah, we have this one at very fast speed. All allies get plus 30% attack for two turns, and element link gives 10% mana generation, plus 10% mana generation for all holy allies for four turns, and this can be dispelled. So I did test her in beta, and she was really useful for quite a few of the new pain in the ass LB2 gang that exists. These are her stats with LB2. So she has an attack up further. Also, those stats go really good. Let's get back to normal because this is what makes sense to most players. So I would say she's a useful um, support hero does quite a lot of things and uh, all the three aspects of the support that she provides is fantastic because if I look at 35% mana being stolen from the target and if the target is even at say 50, 60 or 70% mana, half of that would be 7 or 8% mana to all allies if there are 5 allies to be distributed to or 3 allies to be distributed it becomes bigger so we know the benefit of straight mana addition it suddenly charges up so one of the things that is going to really come in handy when playing ether if you decide to complete her is to keep her on the extreme left wing because when she fires a special all the fellows on the right side are available to in case they charge up they can enjoy it that is for defense on offense, you can keep her wherever you want and it still works out. But if her on defense, the best place that I see her is in the either the left flank or the left wing. Because then that could actually end up charging up heroes to do their thing. Plus the 30% attack up is useful at very fast speed. So... Yeah, a support hero, after, after a while, if I remember, the last one was that, uh, I forget her name, she dodges, and then there is boosted health for every dodge, successful dodge. So yeah, I will leave it at that, but yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. I would say good uh, one. Depends on your roster, of course. 
uh, I'm thinking about, I enjoyed using her in beta because I was testing her, but uh, I don't know whether I'll level her up because of the kind of crazy um, holies that are still waiting for her. <laughs> darts. So yeah, I don't know, maybe I need to change my style of play to something unique and something different because uh, one thing that Aether brings to the, or Aether, Ether brings to the table is ability to dispel uh, these uh, LB2 taunt fellows. Yeah, that could be really useful and handy. So that's that. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you. And um, good luck for getting her in case you want her. And congrats to those who have already got her because two people in my alliance got her. They shared on our chat group. So yep. Yeah. Cheers.